Well, hi there. <clears throat> I'm showing off my my circle cutter on the on the bandsaw today, and as you can see, I've got almost a perfect cutout here. I have a little cleanup right here where I entered and exited, but this is pretty slick. What I've got going on here, I'll give you a little demonstration. You got my pivot point right here. And it's in a sliding uh, jig here that I can slide in, in like that, or out to this far at least, which is about uh, a 24-inch circle. Now I have another piece that extends on out that's about, that I can go up to 48 inches um, circle. If I'm cutting out a table or something like that, tabletop, you know how exact they like to have them when you're cutting it out. You can do it on a router with a with a uh, circle jig and all of that. But this thing has worked out pretty quite well for me. I had to put a eighth inch blade in because uh, in this dense uh, melanin material, it uh, doesn't like to go around the corners very well in in this dense of material but as you can see that's pretty pretty clean cut there now we're looking at the bottom of the sled I wanted to show you this before I forget about it remember I showed you how this slid in and out when you're looking at the top end of it okay you can see how I've <coughs> incorporated a bolt here in this this uh, piece of board here and I've epoxied a uh, T-nut inside of just below the surface here so it doesn't interfere with the sliding of this of my adjustment here and then all I have to do is tighten this up and it holds that in place so there's no no chance of this moving out of place once you measure up what you want to, how big your circle is so it I really I think I came up with something that you'll enjoy trying yourself. So the other thing, here's my adjusting screw that I use for adjusting the thing in and out to line up with the with the front of the of the bandsaw blade so that you get a nice exact cut. This uh, this little thing is nothing more than just a, a T-nut epoxied into the back side of this board and then this screw is just threaded into it. I made a little homemade knob here to adjust it in and out. Well, I told you, you never know what Wayne's up to. So now you know what Wayne's up to for this weekend. Um, this is about it for today, and I'll try to get back to you in about a week with some more uh, additions to this uh, bandsaw sled episode and it'll be one or two more episodes probably to finish it out because I've got some more to tell you about how I put this this sled together so we'll see you next week goodbye <laughs>